हाँ सो वॉट वी डू टूडे विल प्रैक्टिस सम प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम टूडेज क्लास ओके सो आई आर आर फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम क्विकली प्लीज राइट इट our first program ha huh, yesterday i had told you one pro, pro, program right search an element in the given array or given set of memory location can you can you write that program anybody tried it nobody tried nobody tried i am not saying that you got it try ever madidra illwa chetan madidle no nene madilla andre yaro madilla bodu so sir uh yeah please take the study seriously there will be one definite program for your internal writing self writing of the program will come only by practice so i have told you yesterday very clearly this is very important question uh, do you not try very good right so today today we will start with one program please write it down write an assembly program assembly program is asm write asm to transfer do transfer 10 bytes of data 10 bytes of data from from memory location 40 from the internal memory location or like uh, yeah internal memory location 40249 from 40 hyphen 492 to 50259 50259 by adding by adding 3 by adding 3 to every element first please read the read it once again you should get a visualization of what it needs write an assembly program to transfer 10 bytes of data from 40-49 to 50-59 by adding 3 to each element are you getting a visualization like you should get a visualization first like what it means in the memory right so whatever visualization you get like can you write it when i say visualization every program right not only in the assembly or in the c or any other language when you when i say write a program first thing you should get is a visualization of how to write a or how will be the structure how will be the structure for example in this case what we say is there is a memory internal memory we say ram right ram or rom ram from 42 to 49 we have 10 bytes of data here this has to be transferred to oh 40 ah uh, okay 502 fine right how do we transfer we transfer the content of 40 to 40 50 by adding 3 to it did you get this did you got this this is a ram location ram which is of 128 bytes in that in general purpose memory we are doing this general purpose memory starts from start from 30 and goes up to what 7f 802 ff it is ffr 
you remember this? Right? So total 256 bytes, that is 002 FF. In that 0027 F, there is a RAM. 802 FF, there is a SFR. Right? Now in 0027 F, three sections, register banks, bit addressable memory, general purpose data. In the general purpose data, we are doing this part. Is it clear? That is a broader perspective. This is what is required for your program. Now, can you write a program for this? All of you have written a program to transfer the 40 to 44 to 50 to 54 in the lab. Now, while transferring, you should add and transfer. Can you write this program? Please write. What is the first line? Huh? Swati Sahu. Correct, right? Swati Sahu, right? Huh. What is the first line that you are going to write? Huh? Hey, hello. What is the first line that you are going to write? Who are you zero zero eight? Huh? Who are you four zero eight? No, somebody is saying no. Who is that? Asib is saying no. Why you can ask him? Why he is saying no? Quick. It should be over the 00H because your program starts in the ROM location from 00H. This is in the RAM location. Quick. First statement over the 00H done. Next. Next, what do you do? Quick. Move or not? What is R2? Move or not? Okay, R2, you want to use it? Yeah, what is his idea is? Move R2, comma. What is that? R2 cannot take address 40 because there are at will work with only two registers. What are the registers? You cannot take a register address memory location in R2 because at will work with R0 and R1, only two registers. In R2, what he is saying is like push 0A. Huh? 40H very big, one second. First, we will take the count. 10 bytes of data. How do we take it? Move R2, comma, hash 10 or hash 0AH. Right, quick, next statement. First one, what is 00H? Second statement. Thank you. Move R2, comma. So, comma hash 0 a h you should write if you write 10 it will become 16 actually 10 h you should not write but you can write just 10 just 10 if you write move r2 comma hash 10 aste don't write h then it refers to decimal value is it clear if you are writing in hexadecimal you should write 0 a h clear for all of you right this means the count how many data bytes we are transferring next what is the next statement? Anjana. Uh, mu R1, comma, hash 40, 40 edge. Next one. Mu R1, comma, mu R1, comma, hash 40 edge. Next. Arshid. Next statement. Uh, mu. Aule R1, heli liga. Mate R1, madre, over it agata. R0. Next statement, move or not, comma, hash 40H. Sorry, 50H. Right, done? So now, listen to me. So what you have done, what you have done, <coughs> you know that like, you, there are 10 bytes of data. That's why you have taken one register as a counter register. It counts how many data bytes are transferring. And you know that it has to be transferred from 40H. So you have stored the 40H in R0 and you have to, you know that destination register is 50H, so you are trans, uh, storing the registers have been declared. One counter register, one destination register, one source register. Is it clear? Your comments line has to be in line with that. Your comments line is should be like this. One is counter, R2 equal to 10, source register, source address register, R0 equal to this. 
destination address register R1 equal to this. You are understanding? Your comment should explain the program in English. Your code should explain the program in assembly. Is it clear? Right? Done. What is the next statement? Move A comma. Yes. Move A comma at. You have taken the source in R0, right? R1, R1. Uh. Move A comma. At R1. Huh? Oh, we'll come to that later. Right now, go ahead. Move A comma. At R0. Content of R0 is what? R1. R1 is 40. 40 content of 40 H. Let's assume that it is 28. No, 24. Let's assume it is a 24. Move A comma at R1. We'll fetch this 24 and push uh, put that in A. Is it clear? So A equal to content of 40, 40 source register. That is 20. done. Next one. What is the next thing? Move at R naught comma A. If you write like that, who will add it? You should add it. And you later going to learn that. Right. Next statement is add A comma add A comma hash three. You're not getting. You're not getting. She's not getting. You can go and sit in that bench. Last but one bench. Sit with them. Uh, or like, hello, full more bit. Anyway, add a comma. Add a comma has three. That means content of a is added with three now. That is 24 plus 3 is 27. A holds a value 27. So comment line is A equal to A equal to A plus 3. A equal to A plus 3. Yeah, congress not say you. A equal to A plus 3. Done. Next, what is the statement? Move at R naught, comma A. Move at R naught, comma A. Content of A is transferred to at R0. At R0 is what? R0 is what? 50 H. Right? You can write this here also. That, that is also a good uh, idea. So write this as R0 is uh, R1 and uh, R2 equal to 10. So that this visualization will complete. Please write this also. In the visualization, you write this also. Done? So, right. What has happened now? You have added A to 3 and then transferred to the 50. It has stored in 50 now. Now, what is next? One byte has been transferred. Like this, you have to transfer another 9 bytes. The count is there in uh, R2. Now, decrement R2. Please listen to this. Decrement R2. And till what you have to decrement? Till it becomes 0. Check whether it has become 0 or not. If it is not 0, then what you have to do? Oh. You have to increment the address, right? First you increment the address then. Increment R1, increment INC. INC R1, INC R1. So R1 from 40. Now INC R2, R, R, R0. So 51. It has become 51 now. Now you go for decrement. D, J, and Z. You know, all of you know what is D, J, and Z? Right now. Write it this, then we'll explain. D, J, and Z are 2 comma, R 2 comma, BMS. R 2 comma, BMS. What is BMS here? It's a label. Where it has to go? What it says? Guys, listen to this very carefully. D, J, and Z refers to decrement jump on non-zero. What do you have to decrement? R2 register. R2 has decremented from 10 to 9. 
then we'll check whether it has become zero. No, it has not become zero. It has to jump somewhere. Where it has to jump then? It has to jump to BMS as a label. Now you have to give that label somewhere. Where will you give? Move A comma? At or not? Yes. Move A comma at or not? That is after the declaration. After we have declared this register R1, R2, R1, R0 and R2. Then we say like move A comma at R0. Uh, R1. There you have to give the BMS as a label. Is it clear? So this is a loop. This is a loop which repeats for 10 times. What is next? It is done. Transfer. Next, when it comes there, guys, let's trace it back. R1 value is 41. R2, R0 value is 51. Then like let's assume there is a 7, uh, 3 in this. 3 is in here. Right? What is the statement now? Move A comma at R, R1. So content of 41, 3 will be moved to A. Then what is the next statement? What is the next statement? Add 3, 3 plus 3 is 6 is stored in A back. Next, what is the next statement? Move A to uh, R0. R0 is 51. So 7 is moved here. Here is a 27. Ah, sorry, 6 is moved here. Then what is the next statement? In increment R1, that it becomes 42. Next, increment R0, it becomes 52. Next, decrement R2. R2 was previously from 0 to 9, incremented in first loop. In the second loop, now it is 8. Still, it is not 0. You have to go back to again this place. Is it clear? Right? This loop will repeat for 10 times so that 10 bytes of data has been moved. After that, 10 times 0. Like R2 has, like this has been decreased to 0 now. Next what? Huh? Yes, jump. Yeah, you can use that S jump or even if you leave, does not matter. Here, S jump here. That infinite loop. Next statement. Very easy. No. Here, S jump here. So there are two labels in this. One is BMS, another is here. They have to be, they should not be same. If you give uh, DJNZ R2, comma here, then gone case. Right, done? What is the next statement? End. You are telling a story, right? You are telling a story. The story has to end. You cannot leave the story as without end. Happy ending. Right, done? Clear? Now, is there any doubt in this? This is a logical process. Guys, listen to this. Programming is a logical process which you have to practice. There is only one way that is you have to practice. Bharat, got it, what I am saying. How do you four steps? Please write down this four steps somewhere. It is not, it is for your understanding. First step is the visualization. You should have a proper visualization. That means you, there should be a story in your mind. That is important. First step is visualization. Second step is Logical expression. You should develop on logic. Story without a logic of what meaning? Correct, right? There has to be one logic. What is the logic here? First I will take for that value, I will add something and then I will store back here. I will increment the address. Here increment the destination address, source address. Then decrement this. This logic should come to your brain. That will come once you have visualized this. You have to develop the logic. That is it clear? Nikhilesh, did you understood the meaning of logic? Visualization is this. On this you should develop one connected story. Clear? Next one. Flow chart. This connected story you should put in order. First, this, this has to happen. Next, this has to happen. Next, this has to happen. Right? This is putting in order. Next one. Now for this order, you have to uh, search uh, equivalent meaning in the assembly language. What you are thinking is in the English language, right? 
what if this I have to do? If this is a logical statement I have to do, or this is a flowchart phase, like this is a step that I have to do, how can I do this using the assembly code? How can I do this using assembly code? What are the instructions which help me to do that? Then how do you remember this? This remember comes by only practice. Clear? So that is the assembly program. For flowchart you have to write an assembly code or mnemonic. For flowchart you should write a mnemonic. Next what is the step? What is the last step? You should trace it back. You should trace it back. Whatever the story you want to tell. Is it logically convincing? Tracing. So there are five steps in writing any program. For you, if you are writing C program, for that flowchart step, what is a C instruction? You are, if you are writing the PHP code or HTML code, for that thing, how can you write standard procedure? Even in teaching, it is a standard procedure. First, I need to visualize what I am going to teach today. Then I have to build on story around it. First, it will happen like this. Then, then I should think it is logically correct. Because your brain should not say that like, you know, help other sir, like, idu one delta, idu one delta. So I should develop that logical connectivity. Right? Then I should say like, okay, my English is not that standard, but whatever the English that I know, that I should use that and convince you. Then I should finally analyze after the class, 60% of you are clear, then 70% of you are clear. By your face, I will understand. How much you have understood? I believe like now you are comfortable. Is it right? Is it right? Now you are comfortable with the subject. Before six or seven classes, I can see the faces wherein which like 60% clarity was there. My remaining 40% was not clear. Is there any still? Is there any uncomfortable situation in the subject that you are studying? Is it clear now? Right. If you practice this, right. It will gear up. Now you are in the first gear. You have to go to second gear or third gear. That means you have to practice. Okay? Right, done. Quickly, second program. Second program. <coughs> second program. What do you do? Like, uh, yeah, this you take as a homework. Okay? Transfer the word. Transfer the word. Transfer the word. BMSE. 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 From. From. C colon. C colon. 400. C colon 400H. 2. C colon 600H. C colon 600H. Solve. How do you do this? Huh? Yes, you should then must use MUSI because it is a C colon. And it, you should then must use index addressing mode. Last, yesterday's last uh, topic was this index addressing mode. So you have to, you have to say what the 400H. In there you have to say my data, my data DB BMSE in double inverted comma. Then, like you said, you should start with ORG00H. Is it clear? Is it clear? Right. So, please try this as a homework. Next one. Search a given element. Search a given element. Search a given element. Search a given element. In the given array of five data of bytes in the given array of five data five data from from 60 to 60 to 64 you can see search an element is uh, in in bracket you write 34 In bracket you write 34. Right now, 
uh, is the statement is clear, read it once again. It's not. You should get some visualization on this. Ah, uh, last one. You know, hello. What is the visualization you get? Like, what do you mean by this statement? Quick. Canada the layer if you are not comfortable. Ah. 62? 64. What is the size? 62, 64 is 5 data bytes are there. Huh. Yeah, now it is what number? Now it is what number? You know, heard in the low bracket, it will 34. I got that like your mind went somewhere. So that 34, you have to search from 60 to 64 address location. There are 5 data bytes. In that 5 data bytes, whether 34 is there or not, you should tell. Visualization is clear. Write a visualization. You write now. First, you write a visualization step. That means what will be the RAM? What will be the thing? What is the address location? Put some random value in that. Visualization and the other diagram reveal. For every program, this has to be there in the white sheet of your lab. Every program you, that you write in the lab, lab record, on the white sheet you should write a visualization. How do you visualize this concept? Quick. And put some random value. Some of you put like there is 34 in that, some of you don't put 34 in the array. Ah. Fill that. 60, 40, 61, all value put the you know, random value put Done? So, next, next element, don't write a program. Wait. First, write this. Search element equal to what? Search element equal to 34 equal to? You should store that somewhere. Where will you store? Use one register, R2. R2 equal to, search element equal to 34 equal to R2. Got it. Then 60 you have to store somewhere. Where will you store 60? R0. 60 you store in R0. 60 you store in R0. Next what you need, require? Huh? Ah, for R2. R2 is done. Ah, R3. R3. R3 is 5. R3 is 5. Is it clear? Is it clear? Right. Next, what is the step? Next, how do you, what is the step? Visualization is clear? Next, what is the step? Logic. How do you develop a logic? How do you say whether you have found an element or not found an element? See, you cannot say like this. How do you finally say that like, yes, you have found an element? How are you writing that in a program? Compare is done, yaar. After compare, if it exists, what do you do? What, where the zero, where the one? You should specify that right now. If the element is found, we will make R5 equal to 100 zero zero or 11. One one. If element is not found, R5 equal to 0, 0. Is it clear? You should uh, confirm that here only. R5 equal to, if element is found, write that. If element is found, if element is found, R5 equal to FF. Else, else R5 equal to 0, 0. Is it clear with this? Now you should. Is this guy's one? Yeah. Now is it clear? So please try to develop a logic on this. How do you start? How do you start? Uh, yeah, I know what is the next step here. Like, that how do you start? You just think on the rough paper. Like, okay, I will start with this, then like this, and then like this. I'll do like this. That will become your flow chart. So that first step is this, next step is this. Don't write a program directly. Do some rough work on site. First, I'll do like this, then I will... If I don't have a compare, what should I do here? I don't have a compare. There is no compare instruction. You don't know, right? You do, do you know any compare instruction? 
I, I don't know any company instruction. How do I do it then? Uh, subtract. Store this in some value and take every element and subtract from this. If subtraction result is zero, then there is a DJ and Z. In that there is a J Z. J Z. Jump on zero. You should use that. Is it clear? If I don't know the compare instruction, right now my case is that I don't know the compare instruction. If there is a compare instruction, we will come to that later. Right now I don't know. You can use subtract, right? If element is found, exact element is 34, that means like result has to be 0. Jump on 0. J, Z. Try. S, U, B is for subtract. You have an instruction sheet, set in the low. Ah, you need to go. This is how you should practice. Nindalapa. Ah, quick, it should be very, very quick. Who will write it on the board? I don't want you to write exact program. Whether it works or not, this is the first attempt that we are doing. Self-writing of first attempt. Quickly, somebody has to finish and then come, in, come, come here and write it on the board. Quick, fast. We'll, we have to write another two programs. It's already 9.40. You know, Choto. Especially. Yeah, yeah. How many times we should give him a chance? On that day, you told like he went for quiz. With whose permission he went? Now you are saying like you don't know the timetable. And this is happening after I giving a warning to him that like. I will give a less attendance. You should be awakened by that time at least. One more last chance, please convey him. One more last chance I will give. If something goes wrong, I am definitely going to give the shortage of attendance to him. Or otherwise he can say, Sir, I know the subject. Please allow me to bunk. I don't mind. Somehow you should know. Know by learning on self or like by happy learning or by somehow you should know. Guys, done? Who has finished it? Bega Varivik, Nina Varivik, board mail. Krishna Varivik, no? Bega Varivik.
ಆಯ್ ಡನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಬರ್ದೇನು ವೈ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಜಡ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಜಡ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಜಡ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಜಡ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಯಾರು ಜೆ ಜಡ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಆನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಜಂಪ್ ಆನ್ ಜೀರೋ If you are feeling uncomfortable, that means you don't know, you are not appreciating the assembly level language. You, you got a visualization. Now you cannot express because your words are not there. How do you get the words? You have, the, you have an inspection sheet. ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ತಾಯಿಲ್ಲ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಂತಾನೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದೇ ಗಾಡಿ ಸಕ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಹಾ ಏನೋ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೆ ಬರೀತಾ ಇದೆಯಾ ಏನೋ ಬಂದೆ ಬಂದೆ ತಡಿಯ ತಡಿ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಮುಂದೆ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ See, now there is a challenge actually, like it is not that easy. Your statement or logical story has to be very perfect. Okay. So, I am transferring at R0. Hmm. Content to A. And then subtracting R2 from A. Correct. Then incrementing R0. That is the case. Okay. Then D is in A. Is it D is in A? A? Why A? A is in the sense that it is 0. No, no. A is 0. N is in A. N is in A. J is in A. Jump on 0. Jump on 0 to here. Here is? Here. Here. Okay. What is this? This is R3. Hmm. Decrement. This is... Okay. Then, then it is J and Z. They jump on non zero jump on non zero so it is going to r3 jump yeah, on non zero by default refers to a yes, and then like here is here and then like decrement it uh, gms here gms here again if it yes no it is already see jump on non zero to here if it is uh, zero then it will go here yes, then r5 equal to ff here you should write R5 equal to FFF, F, 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 JMP, JL. last. Here is the last. That's all. Write it, down, write it on the board. Quick. J and Z here. Correct. Now, let's change it. Let's change it. Let's change it. R5? If you found that jump on zero, it's not going to be there. It's not going to be there. Why R5? Or move R5, comma, hashes. Ah, that one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, anybody want my help? This is right. You trace it, whatever you have written, please analyze it now. Then away. ಹಾಂ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಞೂ ಗಾಡಿ ಮುಂದೆ ಹೋಗಿಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಹೋಗಿದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇದು ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಪೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಹ್ಞೂ ಏನಾಯಿತು ಅಂಚನ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ
R3? Correct. Do you have DJ in that, right? Madam, madam, try madam. See, now is the time we can speak to each other, discuss, finalize. Attempt body. I don't want you to get the exactly right answer. R3 comma here. It will go 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 here. What use? If it is not there also, it will happen. That is wrong. It should not happen like that. He has used J and Z. Jump on non-zero. Right. It is zero orbit. Zero FF. Anything starting with the letter, there has to be zero. Isn't a rubber word? Delivery, they come up. All is all the best. Jump on non zero. J and Z. Huh? Barata, Barata, no program Mogdila. Hold on, hold on. No, one second. What is that? Correct. That's why. One second. Let, let him complete it. Like you will understand the logic. He has written the whole program with some logic. Once he writes fully, then you will get the link. Climax is there. Get to this data. Get to there. Ah, okay. First two, what the next guy? Why? BMS is next year level. Why? No, 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 no. Hold on. This logic, hold on. He will, he will just mention. Right. It is zero orbit. Zero FF. Anything. Starting with the letter, there has to be zero. Isn't a rubber word? Delivery, they come up. All is all is the best. Jump on non zero. J and Z. Huh? Barata, Barata, in the program, Mogdila. Hold on, hold on. No, one second. What is that? Correct. That's why. One second, let, let him complete it, like you will understand the logic. He has written the whole program with some logic. Once he writes fully, then you will get the link. Climax is there. Get to this state. Hmm, correct there. Ah, it's okay. First two, what the next time? BMS to next year level. Why? No, 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 no. Hold on. This logic, hold on. He will, he will uh, just mention. Right, done? Can you explain this logic? Sumne try model. Ning bandil na help in I will help you. Yeah, listen to him. Now, now you got the link. Huh? Now, Balaji, you got the link. Uh, climax, climax, what wait, what wait. The story's twist will happen in climax, right? Okay, listen. Hello. All of you listen. Please stop your discussion. Listen to him. Just he will give a try. Uh, one try, put it. Uh. First, we will consider that there is no element existing. Like that's what is zero. Next. Okay, now, uh, at Hold on, hold on, hold on. Subtract, just subtract is enough. SUBB is subtract with borrow or carry. So just SUB is enough. Huh? SUB is not there. Are you sure? Uh, 
then like uh, make it SUB, then like you should make, here we write one statement, PSW move PSW comma 00. zero. So clear PSW. Ha, you understood why is this? This we have cleared the carry now. So this session is SUB like instruction. It will by default it will be zero only. Just we are ensuring that it will be zero. That's all. Guys, listen. This instruction is SUBB, that means subtract with borrow, that means it will take the carry from the PSW flag. PSW, there is a carry flag, from there it will take that, if that is 1, it will consider that. Now I don't want to do that, that's why we have included this statement. Now do you, if you ask me, is it 100% required? No. Because by default, PSW carry value is 0. Is that clear? Hello. Hello, in doubt even here. No, no, we'll come to that. Till now, is it clear? Till SUBB is clear? Ah, next. Once you got it, once you got it, it will become J and J and Z will become false. It will become zero, right? So it will come here. It will not jump to here. It will come here. Move R5 equal to FFH. Done? Then like after this, you should finish your program because you got an element. Then like jump to last. What is last? Last is N. Is this clear? Any doubt? Huh? J and Z. It is by default A. By default element is A. Ah, Bunny sir. Teacher is there. Next class teacher is there. Ah, right sir. It's by default it is A. It is, it has to be written in the description. Right, point number one. Point number two. You should put this on top. Immediately after SUB, use this instruction. So increment R0 you put first. Because effect of this effect, guys listen, effect of this instruction makes A equal to 0 or non-zero. That you should check immediately. That checking should happen immediately. You should not put anything in between. Is it clear? Right? So only this, in this program the change is that SUB is here increment second statement. Just interchange the position, that's all. Suggestion, that's a suggestion. Logically, it is right. Any doubt? Any doubt? So, what we do? Quickly write down the one more or two more programs as a homework. Find out the largest element. Find out the largest element. Same thing. In the same program, instead of finding the instead of finding the search element, you should find the largest program. Next one, largest element. Next one, find the smallest element. Next one. <coughs> Arrange a given array in ascending order. Arrange a given array in ascending order. Next one. Arrange a, array, a given array in descending order. Ascending order, descending order. Done? So please, please try this. Please try these programs. We'll discuss that in the class again. But please try. Give a try. If it goes wrong, like we will discuss. That is why we are here. 